Good morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, the live stream didn't start until after the prayer, so apologize uh, to the live stream. But thank you. Thank you for joining together like that and praying. A lot of times when we pray, it's a perfunctory measure that won't work. Sometimes it's just a show that won't work. It has to be real Amen. or God ain't going to move. That's all there is to it. I apologize for you that I told last night we were expecting a big storm. That was the word that came to me. I looked at my weather app and it said 3 o'clock in the morning it was going to start. I got up at 5 this morning and uh, bone dry outside. I'm not, com I'm not complaining about the big storm not coming, but I just thought, I was uh, sitting there thinking uh, these are the same scientists that are that can't predict what time the rain's going to start here at 12 o'clock last night when I looked at it the last time. But they are predicting that the world is going to be destroyed in, starting in 10 years if we don't do something different. I will get into the doctors at a later date. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but they are trying their best to destroy the confidence we, we have had all of our lives and all of these established uh, areas it's a it's a real effort folks it's concerted it, they know what they're doing they've destroyed our first of all they've destroyed our confidence in our government leaders They've done that on purpose because they want the government to fail. They've destroyed our confidence we have in our medical profession. They've done that on purpose. Yeah. They've destroyed our confidence we have in law enforcement. both federal and everywhere else. They're trying to destroy our confidence in everything. But what they will not destroy is my confidence in the American people. The American people are still the greatest on the face of this earth. With that being said, I want to address something this morning about the American people, and more specifically, you that are here with me. Let me ask you all a question. How many was there in the parking lot that first night when everybody showed up next to the IHOP? All right, this is for you guys, all right? Did I come to you? Who came to who? Somebody tell me. I followed you there. I followed Jesus. All right. Did I draw you away from TPC? No. Did I overthrow TPC? No. TPC abandoned the people. I didn't know. I told them all. We're not quitting. So TPC can do whatever the heck they want, but we're going over here. That's not what you said, D. You did not say the word heck. I'm just saying. <laughs> He's being nice. He's being nice. We're going over here. Dee, I'm just Follow saying. Me. I saw you catch it right in mid word. And thank Follow you. Follow me. Dee. Let's go. So, I, with that being said, you know, I, everybody here knows that. Yes, sir. For me, TPC did not do what I came here to do, and that's to make my government do what I wanted to do because they worked for me. They abandoned that. So, I was going into D.C. with everybody who just raised their hand. Okay? 
had nothing to do with you. You just were leading because you had a big truck. Okay? And big trucks make a lot of noise. But the noise was from everybody who just raised that. That's right. That's right. Absolutely right. right. Okay, now that we've clarified that, and you guys thought it was about something else, let me really talk to you. Alright? If we're going to be destroyed, it will not come from outside. That's right. If this movement, and not just this movement, but any patriot movement, is destroyed, it will not be destroyed from outside. Because for every one of us that they beat down and throw in prison, Tim will crawl up in his shadow That's right. and say, I'm here to help. Hallelujah. And they know that. They've studied the same history that I've studied. They've watched the same ways that movements go that I've watched. And they know that. So what they will do is they will try to destroy us from within. Remember, the reason I asked that, I did not come to you. You came to me. I told you the other day, I see little factions being formed inside of us. That will not happen. I want you to know, we are in a fight for freedom. This ain't about anybody's ego, anybody's personal opinion. This is about freedom. And if we don't get away from the high school drama, and Susie doesn't like me, and Billy pulled my pigtails, do you realize how many times a day somebody steps up to me and I want to tell them, what does that have to do with why we are here? I'm sick of it. I don't have time for it. Stop it. If you're getting scared because we're getting closer to do doing what we're going to do in D.C., if you're afraid, and that's why you're acting out, leave. Don't go with us. It's really just that simple. I seen it happen the last time. It wasn't from you guys. When we're, when we're on the west coast and they send Santa out to make this rallying speech. Yeah! Everybody's on board. But the closer we got to the objective... I begin to see breakdowns in heart and divisions and arguments and all that kind of nonsense that, that eventually led to the destruction of that movement. That will not happen here. If you're afraid and you're starting division in our midst, then I'm giving you the opportunity. Let your fear be your guide. There's the gate. Take it. Or I will show you the gate. Because you are not going to destroy this movement from within if I can help it. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody has to follow me to do what we're getting ready to do. Nobody. Nobody in this camp has to. I don't care if you follow me. That night that that all happened, I was going to go get a shower. And then at the same time, I was going to D.C. by myself. I can take care of myself in D.C. I couldn't take care of everybody else in D.C. when you came and got me. 
That's why we didn't go in that night. I had enough food. I had enough water. I can take care of me until they come and get me. But when you guys showed up, everything had to change. So we built this movement, and we've built it well. We have social media presence that is unbelievable. We've got a live streams that are unbelievable. Should not be at what, three weeks into this? Should not be where we're sitting. We have people that have brought us tents. One guy brought us a reefer. Another, or I'm sorry, two guys brought us a reefer. Uh, I thought that was a dry van at first, but that's another reefer that we could use for, for reefer stuff. Yep. And for you that don't know what a reefer is, that's not what you think it is. <laughs> Nobody's bringing us reefer. It's a reefer trailer. It's a refrigerated trailer. I say things, and then I think. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fault. So anyway, we've had all of this stuff, and we've got people. I sit here the other night with two or three people. We'll be back on the first. We'll be back on the first. It's coming together. But I know with that comes that same thing I saw before, that heart palpitation, that, that brain going to think, oh. I told a guy in, where were we out there in Wyoming when the windstorm hit? Casper. Casper. Sheridan. I had made a speech earlier where I said, I'm probably going to go to jail. He met me behind my truck that night. You know, we were all stacked back in that back corner. He said, he said, I heard you say that, that we're going to jail. And I said, no. I said, I'm going to jail. <laughs> and if it goes as anything else, you know, as everything else that we've seen happen in the past, that would be a good thing for me. Because you remember what they've done to other leaders, yeah. movements that went up against the establishment. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that'd be better or not. I'd just be honest. <laughs> from what I'm hearing from the J6 people, it might be better to, you know, just go to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Which, if, if it wasn't for you guys and what we're doing, I would take that today. Amen. Somebody asked me on my live stream last night, do you feel like you've been called to this position? I said, absolutely I have been. The number one reason I know that I've been called to this position is because I didn't go seeking for it. I didn't I didn't maneuver around to get it. It it got a hold of me and drug me into it. Literally in a parking lot next to an IHOP a few weeks ago. D, I'll never forgive you for that. Rose, I'll never forgive you for that. Those two, right there. And I love them both. And I'm honored. I'm honored to be here. I don't have an ego like that. I've been a hermit for 11 years. I mean, I've had other leaders tell me, or ask me, do we have to join? No. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I get that. There are many days that I'm not my own cup of tea. But there are people out there that other people can relate to that have the same message, that have the same drive, and are going to do this. Find those people and join them. If you don't like my religion, fine. Find somebody that more closely aligns with you. That's what America was about. Amen. We had states. And those states came together and formed a, per a more perfect union. That way, if your state was doing something stupid that you didn't agree with, you could move to another state that did. But now we have a federal government that is acting like one big state. So if Pennsylvania wants to have socialized medicine, Pennsylvania can have socialized medicine, and guess what? It only affects Pennsylvania and those that live there. 
But if the federal government comes out and says, we're going to do a forced vaccination, it affects every state and there's no place else you can go. That's why we cannot have a federal government acting like a state. States act like states. And that's why we are here. That is the constitutional message. Sorry? Amendment 10. Exactly. So that's why we are here. Because we don't want that big state up there ruling all the states. I want the right to live in the environment that best fits my needs. So, with that being said, if you're afraid to take on that big federal government, I understand. I totally get it. Not everybody was meant to storm the beaches in Normandy. But because they were drafted or had volunteered, they were in a system that if you didn't, you would be shot or go to prison. You guys are not in that system. That's right. This is totally volunteer. Right. And if you choose not to do what we're going to do, oh well. I'm going to You've got your freedom to do it or not do it. And don't let fear of what we'll think about you. Oh, the guy back in, I, almost, <laughs> see, I got off on a tangent there. The guy back there, he said, he said, I said, I, I can't promise you you're not going to jail. And I mean, he literally. <laughs> he literally did that. And I was like, and then he said, I'm going to have to rethink this. And I said, I think you should. I think you should. Yes, sir. You promised us. Just the other day, blood, sweat, tears, and victory. Right. I've already had three of them <laughs> since I started this. Yeah, exactly. So all I'm waiting is for victory. All right, brother. Victory. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, I love you. Thanks they, they for remind me what I said. Blood, sweat, and tears. That was a. Uh, that's actually a line out of an old message I preached a long time ago, and it just came up out of me again. I'm like, I remember saying that one time before. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Victory. 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 We won't stop. Victory. We can't stop until we're, we have succeeded. That's right, man. Victory. I got, a, I got a phone call last night sitting over here eating my pasta. Which was delicious, by the way. It was great. I got a phone call from Samuel, and Samuel had literally cut me off. I thought, "You can say whatever you want to about Samuel, but I will tell you this: this morning, he is a man because he called me. I had no idea what was out there until this morning. I thought it was a post that someone had made." supposed to be him about me being a proud boy and I was a racist and all this kind of stuff Samuel and I have talked many times and he knows that I'm not a racist and I was like he said he said I was about halfway down through it when he called me he said I didn't write that and I said okay he said I promise you I didn't say that Samuel I said I believe you. and I thought it was a post, so I went on our social media, looking for it, nowhere to be found. What I didn't realize was, until this morning, so I thought, okay, our mods have taken care of it, everything's taken care of. So this morning, I get a call from Crystal. She's been up all night long, working with our web designer. Evidently, somebody typed that up, sent it out as a mass message, that depending on your settings, it will come as a message, or to go up to your email. So, if you got that message, that was not from Samuel, from Samuel's lips, and I believe him, uh, and I honor him for that. A lot of men wouldn't do that. A lot of men would not do that. So anyway, that that 
that blurb that went out was a short blurb. Some of you may have seen it. I posted it again this morning. Well, don't take that down. That was me, okay? <laughs> I posted it on our Facebook real quick when I found out about it, letting people know that he had called me and said that it wasn't him. So everything else, I don't care about. But he said it wasn't him, and that, that's what I wanted to clarify. We've got to be, look, they are scared to death of Dude, you. That's right. There you go. We got a small number of people here right now, but they know that for every one of you, there are literally tens of thousands out there that believe just like, no, there are millions, millions. out there that believe just like you. And what they're afraid of is not you personally or us collectively as a group coming in and doing something. They're afraid of us waking up those millions. That's right. And we're doing it. And we're doing it. This is Bunker Hill. <laughs> it may not be the Bunker Hill, but this is Bunker Hill. Let's just hope it doesn't become the Boston. Amen. Uh, that's what I'm trying to keep from happening. There is a video out from the Canadians uh, addressing that issue I talked about the other night. They're Ray Epps. I'll try to find that again today and post that on our social medias. That's the kind of, again, they're facing up there what we're facing down here. They got government agents trying to destroy that movement up there. But they're not going to let it happen. They, they, just like me, I come up, blast it. Put it in your face. Everybody thinks transparency is about the money. No, this is transparency. I see something. I started my live stream and waited till everybody got here so I could dress y'all. I love every single person here. I have my heart is 100% with you guys. If it wasn't, I'd be at home. I'm so homesick for my grandbabies right now. I'm so homesick to see my mom. I haven't seen them. I've seen my my son and daughter-in-law, my my uh, daughter and my grandson. I haven't seen my granddaughter in over 14 weeks. Haven't seen my mama in 14 weeks. I can't even make phone calls to my mama like I would like to because every time I do, she starts crying, begging me to come home. She's worried about her son. Yeah. So I, it's killing me. But as to date, it's hard for me to get a freaking shower. <laughs> Hey, you got one yesterday. No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you didn't go No, I had to come back. I got a bath. You got a, I got, I got a half bath. <laughs> That's your fault. That's your fault. I finished. <laughs> I told the rest of you you got the whole for... thing, but I just got the half bath. So today, I'm bath. going to take a shower. Yeah. 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 Wash-offs are pretty good in a pinch. But after the third one, you need a shower. Yeah. I haven't shaved my head. It's itching. I'm crumpy. That was crumpy, not grumpy. Drink another thing. Somebody look that up. Coffee. I'm drinking coffee. Drink the it's, whole it is black. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Shannon brings it to me black. I usually doctored up this morning. Didn't have time. I'm just drinking it black. <laughs> Don't like coffee. I like coffee with a lot of cream and preferably flavored cream and some sweet and low. He wants a little bit of coffee with his sugar. That's right. Okay. <laughs> want a little bit of caffeine. I don't want coffee. So anyway. I don't know if Miss Shannon meant to do this or not, but this is my cup, she said. She's, every morning she fills it up and brings it to me. Bless her heart. She's so sweet. But it says... Uh, Grumpy bear. <laughs> I don't know if she's trying to make a, a uh, subtle statement or being passive aggressive. I'm not sure. So, or just being flat out honest. I'm not sure. 
All right, today. get to know him, the more I love him. He is hes the real deal, man. He's the real deal. Uh, he, he's, you want to do your constitutional thing today? you got to remind me, man, because I, I get up here and I get... No, no, you just tell me. Just remind me, because my brain's right. 